More than two decades ago, Lowell Milken created an initiative at the Milken Family Foundation to tell of the extraordinary story of Jews in America through their music. The Milken Archive now stands as the leader in the discovery, preservation, and dissemination of music of the American Jewish experience. people washes over us with restorative powers and takes us to a better place, a happier place, a place where the heart can dance the dance of life. Our mantra has been from the beginning, get the best. The reviews tell us that we're on the mark. Now, the Milken Archive takes its next step in its evolution by sharing this vast collection with the world, with the launch of a virtual museum. The Milken Archive's virtual museum showcases really everything from the music, which is now downloadable, to oral histories, related videos, photographs, even thoroughly researched essays that provide cultural and historical context. The collection is presented in 20 multimedia volumes, featuring nearly 700 pieces of music, representing more than 250 composers. Each volume explores a specific aspect of the American Jewish experience. Great Songs of the American Yiddish Stage is a celebration of New York's famed Second Avenue. The archive spent years reconstructing the orchestrations to these timeless songs. <laughs> Jazz icon Dave Brubeck has contributed two spiritually based oratorios to the archive, The Commandments and the civil rights opus, The Gates of Justice, which combines writings from Hebrew scripture and from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We had a friend from New Orleans that when things got tough, She'd say, Lord, Lord, what will tomorrow bring? The voice, lifted in worship and praise, is integral to the Milken Archive, which has captured many of the finest cantorial offerings of the modern era. When I sing Jewish music in Chazanut, whether on the pulpit or on the stage, not only am I preserving, but I'm affirming the existence not only of the Jewish people, but, uh, uh, but the culture that was doomed. The Archives Oral History Project has recorded hundreds of hours of interviews with both the people who have brought this music to life and those who continue to do so. Visitors to the Virtual Museum are able to gain a deeper appreciation of this music through the insights and recollections of these great artists. When I left and went to the Catskill Mountains, Chazan Love Shabbos was my big number. I don't think that I can possibly write a piece of music, no matter what I do and what I will try, which does not have the stamp of my Jewish existence. When these people are no longer with us, there will be no way that we can learn much of this information, let alone capture a feeling for what the aura was like. By coming to America, Jews have been given the freedom to worship, to work, and thankfully to create, which has yielded remarkable artistic gifts to the world, especially in music. The Milken Archive will continue to discover preserve, record, and disseminate a body of music as beautiful and diverse as America itself. <laughs>